If you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's the easy way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcast, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. I am now. Look at Justin McFerrin. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, that's don't worry, be happy is all. That's what we need right now. I mean, no shit. Yeah, for real. Uh, okay, we're gonna we ready to start. Yeah, I'm ready to start. Okay, all right, we'll start in five, four, three. Welcome to Conspiracy Beer Me. I'm Justin Scranton. I'm Shane Smith, and you're listening to the podcast where comedians drink beer, talk about wild, crazy uh, stuff. Today, we're talking about MK Ultra, uh, the mm. Monarchs. Project Monarch in the Mystery of Anne Hesh's Death. Oh, shit. It's a great one. Uh, really uh, interesting stuff. Uh, we will, uh, to our patrons, uh, thank you so much for supporting us. We will be at the Mind Under Matter podcast this up and coming weekend. Very excited for that. Yeah. Uh, we will be performing Saturday night at five o'clock. I think there's day passes still available if you want to come check us out. Yeah. And uh, uh, not only will you check us out, our, our guest today here in the studio will be joining us for the mind under matter live show uh you guys love him uh welcome back to the show mike mellow hey guys what up what's up what's Good. new what's new with you since uh, we last had you on the pod you've uh-huh. been uh you've been featuring for some big ass names in the comedy world um yeah unfortunately i don't remember any of them. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, wait, you worked with dh didn't you feature for DH when he was in Raleigh? Or no, who was it? DH. DH, who, who, who? DL. Oh, DL. No, I haven't featured for him. Um, well, years ago. Years ago. Years sure, ago. sure. But, who, um, there was someone big at the improv you were you featured for recently. Um, Damon Wayans. Damon, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Damon Wayans. I feel like that's Wayans. DW. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> D-dubs. Well, D-dubs. I feel real white right now. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Been... There are a few shades different. They but, are different. Uh, <laughs> both funny. Um, but no, Damon Wayans was the... Yeah, uh, Damon Wayans. That, that's why. Yeah. Because we were talking about DH, uh, DL earlier. DL, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah. yeah um, amazing weekend. Cool. Amazing oh, yeah. weekend. Super nice dude. Yeah. Took time out to uh, talk to me and Shadi Diaz. Shadi. Oh, yeah. Shadi, yeah. Shadi. Our friend Shadi Diaz. Um, but yeah, class act. Um, well, that's cool, man. Uh, do, you, do you know who Ann Hesh is? Yes. Okay. I do. Okay, good. Cause uh That's the crazy white lady that drove through people's houses. Yeah, no, yeah. she drove no, through No, she was through almost through the back. She drew yeah, it's crazy how fast she was going. Yeah. Well, uh to get to this story, um we need to just cover quickly because uh, the story has reignited an old conspiracy that is rooted in what's called MK Ultra, which I don't know. MK Ultra has been a little bit in like mainstream media, I guess, in the last several years. Not ML Ultra. No, not ML. <laughs> not, not Mick, Mick Ultra. Like D, Mick DL. Ultra. I was about to say, <laughs> man, that's, that's water beer. Uh, but uh, uh, to give a, a brief synopsis, I know most of our listeners are familiar with it. MK Ultra was a CIA run program in the 1950s and 60s by a man named Sidney Gottlieb. And his goal, the goal of the program, was to figure out how to. Control, control the mind of humans, essentially render them into uh, programmable robots. Mm-hmm. Like if you ever saw the Manchurian Candidate, yeah. either the mm-hmm. either version, that that novel was based upon the MK Ultra experiments. Now, yeah. it, it, to be fair, uh, they were horrific experiments. They were not all done in the United States, although those are the most famous. They had they had bases all over the world. Where they were basically experimenting with non-complicit human beings mm. and testing them, mm. um, you know the the I think uh, the gist of what Gottlieb discovered uh, and published was that to control the human mind, there was a two-step process. The first process was you just destroyed the mind, and then you replaced it with the mind that you could control, oh. usually through bombarding it 
with subliminal messages in films. Right. Like just, in the fifties with Coke. Yeah. 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 Mm. Or forties, fifties. But the, 50s, but it, it was the fifties uh, with LSD. They mm-hmm. they found that LSD was the best drug for that second phase. So they would break your mind down, mm-hmm. pump you full of LSD, and they would show you the Wizard of Oz on loop for like brutal weeks. And inside it, they had hidden all these messages so that like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> thank God the whiz wasn't out. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> they, you just have to watch that once. And you're like, I'm fucking. Yeah, man, he's he's on, these flying yeah, monkeys on these motorcycles got me tripping, dog. <laughs> a, he's on a, down. He's on down the road. road. Way more rhythm. He's white people can sure can yeah, dance. Man, I, <laughs> uh, yeah, the CIA uh, abducted me and I came out of dancing. <laughs> man, the best white dude in the Soul Train <laughs> line is Shane. Smith, man. I'm pretty good. Man, there used to be an open mic comic here in Raleigh who who went by the name Pro Me, and he wore like a, a, a he was a, he was oh, African American, yes. but he wore like this like mime face. Yeah, oh, the cr- Joker dude, the Joker, clown guy, clown yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah. And he looked just like those guys from he uh, did. from the Wiz, and like he did my mic one time, and I was like, man, that guy scared me in the Wiz too, and uh, <laughs> nobody got the joke. I bet not. And I was like. Nobody watched the Wiz. That nobody was white. Nobody it, watched. I, I, they I watched thought it, it was cheese. I did. Yeah, I watched yeah, the, I Wiz, the Wiz, man. <laughs> Diana Ross. Right? They showed the Wiz at Alamo down the street a few years ago. I went and watched. Michael it. Jackson with the Reese's Cup yeah, nose. They, yeah, nobody was, knows that. No, yeah, they should. That should be like they should show Roots, <laughs> and then the Wiz right after. <laughs> <laughs> to make you know, like, because yeah. after you showed Roots when I was growing up, like white people really like. We're on edge. Timid. Yeah, yeah. yeah They're walking sure. on eggshells. Yeah. But if you show the whiz right after it, they'd be like, you know what? Yeah, that's cool. He's on down the road. Bro. That's right. We like that. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's a palate cleanser. It's, it's a like a- <laughs> You know, it's like taking a Colt 45 and then washing it down with Alizé. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You're like, you know exactly. what? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, the uh, uh, one uh, <laughs> side note, which I also find interesting, is that some of the most popular counterculture figures of the 60s were MK Ultra. They got hooked on LSD, like Ken Kesey. If you, Ken Kesey is a very famous writer. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's mm. Nest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The lyricist for The Grateful Dead. Um, Alan uh, Ginsberg, the, the the beat poet. Oh, yeah. Um, all, they, they were all MK Ultra guys. That, oh, like, crazy. Um, and there's been lots of like speculation on people like Charles Manson. A lot of people think that Charles Manson was a MK Ultra test subject based upon the fact that like he seemed, you know, the CIA wanted to start a race war and his whole objective his whole was to was start a race war. Skelter. And he, yeah. he was like he was getting arrested on on stuff that really should have sent him back into prison. But he somehow was protected from the, the utmost on high. And then he, he was in San Francisco in one of the MK Ultra like homes they like removed all of their patients and left him in there. So the, so the idea is that like the, the the CIA could create these sort of drones, human drones to do what they needed to do. And then they could disavow and be like, we know what you're talking about. Now, yeah, this dude just crazy. Yeah. He, Gottlieb, just, he, shaved, he carved yeah. a swastika in his forehead. He's yeah. just nuts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right before his parole hearing too. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. What? Yeah. Right. So Manson was in uh, prison uh-huh. and then he had his first, he was up for parole and he shows up and he's got a, a swash. He carved a swash oh, yeah, in his for- yeah, forehead. Yeah. And it's like, he used to be an ex, but then he just yeah, added yeah. the little, uh, little, his arms. lawyer had to be super pissed when he showed up. And he's yeah. like, I told you to wear a tie. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. The, the, yeah. I wore two ties so people wouldn't notice the swastika on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's weird. What a crazy man. He's wearing two ties? Uh, uh, well, the, well, Gottlieb eventually left the project, allegedly said that mind control was not possible. There's a lot of people think that that's not true. He just sort of finished the project because- And then distanced himself. Yeah, because yeah, then he went on to like create some of the most deadly poisons ever known to the, I mean, man for the CIA. Oh, crazy. Like- it, 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 you know, like if you fail at a project of that scope and budget, you don't usually get a promotion after that to head up the entire division. True. That. And the CIA has like there are countless victims out there from other countries who have asked for starters from an apology from the CIA. 
never gotten one. The CIA acknowledges the program existed, but they have never admitted any wrongdoing. So, hmm. which makes people think, well, yeah, you're not going to admit that because you, you're still using it. Is right. the theory yeah. at yeah. least. Okay. Makes sense. Um, I agree. So, uh, <laughs> the same page. <laughs> <Mellow enough. laughs> this brings us, this incidentally brings us to the death of Anne Hesch. Now, you know, let's pause for a minute and, and, and talk about her because, uh, she has an interesting story outside of her very tragic death. Yeah. Because I, you know, I, I went back and read all this and I was shocked by this, but what most people know her from is in 1998, she and Ellen DeGeneres came out as a lesbian couple publicly. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I, I did not remember or recall. I remember that. Well, I remembered them coming out. I did not remember there was backlash yeah, I don't either. Oh, yeah. But yeah, there was backlash that. even from Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Like she had just released a movie called Volcano and her and Ellen were told not to come together to the to the Crazy. premiere. Mm -hmm. But they showed up and they were ushered out of the studio before the movie even started. Oh, wow. I didn't like, know that. Yeah. Before. I was like, wow. I didn't I didn't mm -hmm. know Hollywood was still that well, crazy in 98. Yeah. I mean, to me, it feels like Hollywood already, to me, Hollywood knows everything. Right. But they're like, yo, don't, because once you do that, we all got to come out type shit. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay. True. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's yeah, how yeah. I would think. Right, like, right, right. Y'all are putting this shit out in the open. Yeah. Right, yeah. I ain't trying to let everybody know we eat vagina. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. called the download for a reason. I know. <laughs> I guess, I guess, yeah. I guess producers who put up millions it's like, a money thing. Yeah, don't don't yeah. do anything that you know. Yeah, because uh, you're messing up my money, yo. Yeah, because right. you don't want to jeopardize those middle America people that are like, I got to go see the volcano, but wait, it's got lesbians in it. Yeah. I, Kramer. I won't watch. Yeah, Kramer. Oh yeah, Kramer. Like, yeah. remember when he did that apology? Yeah. Um, Seinfeld was right there. You know why he did the apology? Right before the release of the DVD. Oh right, that's oh, right, that's right. And that Crazy. thing was the biggest show. Sure. Out. So yeah. when it comes to money. Yo, chill. Chill. Yeah. That's yeah. how I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. no, really no one really cares. Right. No, right. just don't talk right. about no my all, money. Yeah. Just cares about I mean, look pockets. at Johnny Depp. I mean, like, he was sort of stricken from the yeah the, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Guilty until proven innocent. Mm -hmm. in, in Hollywood, for sure. Yeah. And, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. That makes, now that makes more sense now. Mm -hmm. it, it blew me away when I read it today. So we're done here? Yeah, we're done. No, uh, uh. Well, that reminds me, real quick, that reminds me of the fact that uh, the, I think the first show I was on, we talked about Michael Jackson, Real Pain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. When um, uh, Diana Ross got pregnant at a young age back then, they just moved him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. You that's, know, they that's don't right. want this star to be like, oh, that's an unwed yeah. mother. Right. And they did that even for people that weren't celebrities. Like if you got pregnant as a uh, out of wedlock as a young person, they'd be like, exactly. oh, they what they we reputation, yeah. but yep. also that reputation. Where was that money going for that? Right. You know, we don't know that part either. Yeah, yeah. I guess money, 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 money. Ooh, that should. I be. get it. I also don't. I don't <laughs> like it. I don't like it in the sense that like if someone says in 1998, we don't care that you're you're gay. We care that. Other people care, and then they may not see the movie, or we might yeah. just end up on the wrong side of a protest. And well, it's like, well, yeah, you're going to continue to have that problem until you just don't deal with, deal with it. it. Yeah, yeah, That's it. right. Like it's just like, but see, it's how they deal with it. They have to be in control of how they deal with it, right? Man, well, that, I'm, I'm shocking myself. I, I might know, get right? killed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, well, you're on. You're on to something here, which we're going to get to, and it relates to control and uh, MK Ultra. But you know, Anne Hash, prior just prior to coming out with Ellen, she'd kind of had her big breakthrough. And in, in, uh, was it Donnie Brasco? The, the oh yeah, Donnie Brasco. Yeah, which uh, that was our guy. That was Johnny Depp. Right? Yeah, yeah. Was. So Johnny's yeah. the man. That was her her breakthrough. She had had a part in Wag the Dog. Mm -hmm. Her career really fell off after that. She says, I stopped getting calls for leading roles when I came out. As How was she in Volcano? Maybe it's just I, her, her I, acting was bad. In was it, it wasn't Joe versus the Volcano. No, was no, no. That no. movie's <laughs> great. <laughs> it's a completely different movie. <laughs> uh, I never saw it. I didn't say it. Was Volcano uh, the, the same one? Like, wasn't there two studios? Wasn't that one that was like a Volcano and then another studio had... Another movie about a volcano, but they called it something different. Remember in the 90s, there was a stretch where they had uh, 
two space movies at the same time, two disaster movies, and they're all just it's like like the B movie and Bugs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that was a thing they did for a while. I wonder if it was I, one of those. I mean, it, yeah. Well, they do that music too. If you notice, you like hear what? one artist come out and then another artist come out, like uh, Snow. Oh, there's at least three snows, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Even though the other two we don't know the names right. of, but there's at least three snows. But we do know in four mark <laughs> <laughs> that song and that snow. I thought it was a farmer. Oh yeah, yeah. Who those Another fuck? conspiracy show. That's right. In farmers, I'm like, are they yeah. banging the yeah. farmers? Yeah, what are they doing? They're in them. In them. Do you know what happened when <laughs> Ellen and uh, when Ellen and uh, Hesh uh, split up? Do you know that story? No. That was. Uh, that was the beginning of our 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 MK Ultra oh, uh, story okay. because she had a major major malfunction hmm. breakdown. Uh, uh, like, well, well, what happened is this: is they broke up. She got into her Toyota SUV, wearing her shorts and a bra, and she drove out of LA to some canyon nearby got out and just started hiking, hiked to a complete stranger's house, knocked on the door. This is recently. This is in 2001. Oh, this she is when they broke Ellen up. Oh, okay. Up. This sounded like the story of what happened uh, recently, too. Uh, well, uh, she, she she shows up. The woman's like, uh, aren't you Anne? Like, she's like, yeah. She's like, oh, I love you. She's like, I love you, too. <laughs> she comes in. The woman's like, she drank an insane amount of water. Mm -hmm. was like, oh, can I take a shower? Takes a shower, comes out, and she's like, You want to watch a movie? That's and weird. like the woman eventually is like, Uh, okay. Like <laughs> yeah. the woman's like, You weren't that good in <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw a volcano. Yeah, I saw uh, a volcano. What was that like? But didn't she, didn't she say she acted completely normal other than those odd requests? Yeah. Like, other, like, other than that, like this woman's like, like, because they were like, Did she seem intoxicated on drugs? She did was she like, seem hasty? No. She did call the sheriff and the sheriff, they, they showed up and, and she was just like, no. but, but that, that led to this like kind of snap in her mind. She eventually marries and has a child and, and finally gathers uh, some mental stability around her in okay. her life. And that leads to her publishing her 2001 uh, memoir called Call Me Crazy. Oh, okay. Um, and she details in this this memoir, uh, horrific abuse by her father mm -hmm. uh, that that lasted for a long time. Her father uh, eventually died. Good. Uh, in forty, when he was forty five years old, uh, her brother weeks later uh, died in a car crash that she believed was uh, not uh, was was suspicious to say the least. Although it was ruled. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, man. He was so quick to say, "Fuck that dude." <laughs> yeah. Fuck like, yeah. Abuse anybody? Fuck off. Allegedly, uh, there are people that think she made it all up, but uh, and she also said that she had an alter ego named Celestia, oh, who weird. she believed spoke a different language, uh, had special abilities, and that she uh, learned all of this from God. The Cel Celestia learned her her language and her abilities. Oh, from so God. the title of her book was not a uh, facetious thing. It was like, no, you can no, call me this because these are things I, I believe right. I'm actually a celestial being. It was then Wild. the people who read the book. Uh, who said that description sounds exactly like other monarchs who uh -huh. crack at some point and describe their their alternate selves. Remember what MK Ultra did is MK Ultra just broke and blasted your mind down and then built it back up, uh -huh. and then it would communicate to you and tell you what to do and teach you and, and all this stuff. That's the godlike voice that many. People who went through MK Ultra talk about they often had alternate names for this persona. They often had attributed special abilities, the ability to speak other languages mm. and do others. They had an entire separate memory bank that was attached to their alter ego. Wow. Now, the interesting thing about this is that people said she's almost assuredly one of the monarchs. And what I mean by that is there was a spinoff of MK Ultra called Project Monarch. Okay. <laughs> No, oh, oh, he's dying. They're, was, they're, getting, they're poisoning him. They're oh getting him. Yeah. This shit real. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh man! Uh, um, yeah. I don't um, know if I'm supposed to announce this beer I'm drinking, but I'm not drinking it nope. no more. Yeah, no way. Um, so the the uh, yeah, so so the Project Monarch was basically MK Ultra, but targeted 
at Hollywood stars, oh, okay. primarily attractive Hollywood women. Okay. I have no problem with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Mello was on the board of directors. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at all these pretty folk. Yeah, done, done, done. Yep. I yeah, shall the, continue I mean, to look at them. I'm like, I want some. It's like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> the idea behind it, though, is pretty interesting. Is that Hollywood uh, took from MK Ultra this methodology for essentially hollowing out women and then using a handler who essentially programmed them to do exactly what they needed. Hmm. And the most, the most uh, brutal abuses of this are from uh, Disney and uh, Nickelodeon. Oh yeah. We, we had an episode about that one creepo feet yeah. guy. What's his name? Right. Uh, that was like, Fuck, didn't he? Uh, didn't he? Oh, fuck, he uh, didn't he uh, rape Jamie Lynn Spears and make her have a baby? I or think. Some shit? I think. Yeah. I think. We, Wait. What? Yeah. There's yeah. a there's a crazy dude who was doing awful shit. But he's not. He's one of a like Amanda Burns. Do you remember Amanda or Bynes? Bynes. Bynes? Yeah, yeah. Bynes. yeah. Amanda yeah. Bynes. She went cray cray. Yeah. She yeah. went. She was like twerking on that that uh, treadmill they, and stuff. And then she was like all over Twitter. And she was she. They I said I, she was, uh, I think the final thing was like, oh, I was bipolar and wasn't diagnosed. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. But what people but. said is her breakdown is very similar to other suspected kittens. Kittens are the same thing as monarchs who went through this program. Britney Spears, another one where they said Britney Crazy. Spears had a handler. Mm -hmm. She had this alter ego. She followed directions to a T. And then eventually when it broke down, much like it did with Anne Hesh, like some life event happens that triggers things mm. and you're unable to sustain sort of like the dual life that you're living and so, the, the, cro the code cracks. So is it like uh, their true self comes out in the middle of this and it counteracts with what's going on and that's why they... Yeah, you know what I think it's like? Do you know... You, does that, uh, yeah, you know that makes sense. Like, yeah, it's like, it's like you... The, the real yeah. person comes yes. out and is like, why am I like right. this? And then yes. they... I think that's... I was going to yeah. say, you know like that scene in the Bourne series like where... Like, Born like he goes to point the gun at the the kid, the, the guy and the kids there, and, and like somehow like this thing just cracks. Mm -hmm. It's like that where it's like almost so, like I'm a human. Um, yes. I have feelings. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's right. That's what yeah. I think it is. Is it's like this moment. It seems like in, in reading about these people, it often has to do with them having children or something mm, or interesting some life thing like something like breaking up with Ellen, just sort of cracked it and then. She couldn't sustain this thing anymore. But I think Ellen's evil. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. How many well, people have had this happen that broke up with Ellen? Well, Ellen, I mean, but is Ellen the ringleader? But here's the thing about Project Monarch, mm -hmm. which is interesting, is that what Monarch did is they took MK Ultra's methodology and they said the way, the quickest way to hollow someone out, to blast their psyche into nothingness, is through abuse. Oh, yeah. And so Anne Hash, who was abused allegedly by her father mm -hmm. for decades, right? Like all you need is a handler who sort of perpetuates that abuse and then fills them with this sense of like So he laid love. the groundwork. He so laid they, the groundwork, actually, right. Like, probably look for people like this because it's uh, exactly less what they did. work for right. them. Oh yeah, that so makes they, sense. So yeah. they look for people. And and I mean, was Ellen, God, don't sue me, Ellen. Oh yeah, sue me. This this pot will go viral. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, we need more yeah, listeners. For yeah, sure. yeah, Ellen is. Uh, I mean, is you sue me, I mean, you get like eighty five cents. <laughs> yeah, get, yeah. Like get get on the class action <laughs> Every, lawsuit. Has Ellen wronged you in some way? Uh, join the class action lawsuit. I got methotheliomy <laughs> in this. Yeah, so. yeah. uh, I got degenerous. I got, <laughs> truth. I got the Ellen de de degenerate <laughs> <laughs> syndrome in my little toe. Well, yeah, she she is a, she has been rumored to be an abusive person. So if they were, yeah. if if it all sort of to say the c word on this, uh, uh yeah, I mean, yeah, you, yeah. yeah, you are, yeah, she's cock, <laughs> she's, she's cocky. <laughs> oh, she's cockney, she's co cockney. <laughs> um, she's British. <laughs> yeah, fuck her. Her British ass accent. No, you know, screw you. <laughs> yeah, screw you. Screw you, Ellen. Hey, screw you. Screw You're, you. That's right. Volcano was a. Sh a Trash movie. It was a shite movie. Shite. <laughs> shite. Bloody. That's all I got. Uh, bloody. I got bloody. two Brits staying with me right, right now, so I'm picking up some uh, picking up some language. Let me clarify what what the, the Monarch program was before I tell you why 
people think that Anne Hesch died. Sure. Is that Project Monarch, there's two parts to it. There is the abuse part. You have an abuser or a systematic abuse, either it started at some point, there's a person who perpetuates it. The only way to sort of make yourself feel better is by pleasing your handler. Oh, and right. So, so all these people have a, have like a, a handler who, um, you know, and, and I guess into some degree, part of this makes sense, it especially makes sense in terms of Nickelodeon and Walt Disney, is because if you imagine like a 16 to 18 year old pop star. Yeah. Like think about any of those young pop stars that we think about. Mm. I don't I mean, think I, about them. But. It, it could be, it could, it could also be like a, like a, a child uh, TV star, sorry, you know, sorry. like a hey, baby star. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet somebody he's enjoyed. starting already. He's starting already. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, this, no, no, those, I, like, I those, like, I feel like sometimes those 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 studios invest so much time and money mm-hmm. that they, they always do get like a handler. Yeah, they have to because then, they run their lives and they don't know their schedule. Like, right? How, I think it, it's not just people that are in that section of the world, but if you look at very successful business people, they'll say, "I don't know what's on the docket for today. I just get told where to go and I show up and I sign off on things." And I'm, yeah, the president has a handler, handler. manager, yeah, agent, yeah. yeah, yeah. I I I don't know how much those people are worth to the studios that quote unquote own them. It's a lot of fucking money. It's a lot of money. I mean, it's like a sports agent, Jerry Maguire. But also like you think about how big of thing Disney is. Oh yeah. They got a plus now. Yeah. As a whole. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't they be tapped into some shit? Oh yeah. To where it's like, Hey, because everything's mind controlled, right? Yeah. I mean, yes. And what way better way is to get them at a younger age? Yeah. And a lot of these kids are like, oh, my God, Britney Spears, whatever. But mm. these kids come from a broken home. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's crazy. Right. No I matter think, how yeah. famous they are, they still come from shit. Yeah. I think most yeah, most people do, but they sell it as this thing, which is just yeah, sad. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I, uh, what's Who's that guy that just got banned from all platforms? Uh, Mike Mello? Oh, the, the, the <laughs> yeah. fighter. The, the fighter, fighter, whatever his, his name. name. Uh, real rich fighter. Real rich guy, but he talks about like. Beating up women and shit yeah, like he's that. A real, but, uh, uh, what is that guy? Tate. Tate. And, and, Andrew, Andrew, uh, Tate. He Andrew. just got banned off stuff. And on, on uh, yeah, he and all his stuff was being pushed to kids on TikTok. And uh, someone was like, "Oh, should he be banned from platforms?" And I'm like, "Hell yeah, he should." Wait, and man, then, what was he? I don't know this one. Oh, he's like an one. MMA guy. That, an yeah. MMA guy. That's yeah, just I'm, real like fuck bitches. Just, yeah, you, like, you gotta fucking slap them upside the face yeah. sometimes. And, and like, I commented on this YouTube post how like yeah, anybody that that speaks violence against women should be deplatformed. Uh, and this guy went at me saying like, oh, you don't know anything about his videos and stuff. I was like, who cares? He's that shit's <laughs> still going about, to kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, he's he's doing a, he's doing a bit. You and gotta I was like, put it in context. Off, yeah, I was like, off. yeah. There's but no. I, mean, I get that, that, but also, um, I get what he's saying, but yeah. also, your parents should totally exactly. handle that shit. Yes, yeah. before yeah. it even gets to like you're yeah. showing kids. What are your parents letting you do? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But no one wants it. That's no. a whole nother. It is. It is. But nother. that might. But but the point of that is like when you go uh, back and look at any of anyway. these people we're talking about, yeah. from Britney Spears to Anne Hesh mm-hmm. to Andrew Ama- Tate, Amanda, who they think is a agent. Agent. That's what this guy said in his comment. Uh, Same thing. That they they all have a traumatic childhood, I and mean, that's the root of all these yeah. kittens in Project uh, Monarch. Now, after Anne Hesh got some clarity and stability in her life. People believe that very much like Stanley Kubrick, mm. so Stanley Kubrick was on the inside of the inside of the Illuminati and was using his movies to subtly leak information about them till he got to Eyes Wide Shut, which was basically a tell-all, and they were like, dude, just fucking kill the guy. Like, we're tired of this shit. Yeah. They think that was what happened with Anne Hesch, mm. is that she was subtly in her movie choices in her life, signaling things to people that indicated what was really going on, okay. which is that there is a ring in Hollywood of these kittens that are controlled by their handlers and are used for sexual trafficking as Hollywood stars. It, you know, this is this whole sort of project monarch, right? Mm-hmm. 
So that's that's the that's the theory. Here's some of the things in her life. Okay. Call me crazy. Her book. The cover of her book is her turned sideways, with her single eye, looking out from the cover of the book. Okay. Which I don't know if you guys know the omniscient eye, which you see on the dollar bill, is a classic mm-hmm. uh, New World Order or New Illuminati World, yeah. sure. symbol. Mm-hmm. Right. She has a back tattoo. One guess what the tattoo is. It's an eye. No. Oh, I bet it says uh, live, laugh, love. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, where is it at? Is it's on her It's on her lower back. Oh, it's lower, oh so tramp stamp. Tramp, tramp yeah. stamp, yeah. Um, Abandon USDA. all hope. No, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Certified fresh. No, it's a monarch butterfly. <laughs> no kidding. All yeah, right. So she's got a, a monarch butterfly here. Now, she released a film which uh, got a lot of uh, rewatches during the pandemic called Toxic Skies. You ever seen it? No, I've never heard of it. Um, Toxic Skies is about a uh, a doctor who Hesh plays who works for the Global Health Organization, which is clearly Mm. the WHO. Sure. um, During a pandemic outbreak. And as the government uh, puts the entire city of Seattle under quarantine, uh, even using like force to prevent people from leaving the city, she discovers that the pandemic, the cause of this illness, is from an epidemic that is carried through chemtrails that the government is dropping on the city. Wow. Okay. Uh, which that free, has been free hallucinogen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, and yeah. guess who experimented this with old time using, <laughs> using chemtrails or using rain? Because chemtrails just put the chemicals in yeah. the air. They're MK them. Ultra? Uh, Sidney Gottlieb, after he left MK Ultra, experimented with the distribution of drugs through rain clouds. Do you think that maybe he was just, uh, he just had a bunch of stuff in his basement? He's like, I can take this to the hazardous waste place, or I can just throw it out of this plane. I could just- or did he have a t-shirt gun and it's just like, <laughs> yeah. Sh- boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, Dude, what is that? <laughs> what is- <laughs> I think, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Mello, we we've we talked about this in an old old episode. Is that the the U.S. government um, has experimented numerous times with non lethal uh, chemical warfare? Mm-hmm. So they they would create bombs basically that wouldn't kill you, but they would do other stuff to you. Mm-hmm. And the gay bomb, the gay bomb's the best one. Have you right? heard of this? <laughs> Yeah, it was it's a bomb. Amazing. Yeah, they would they would drop a bomb on uh, uh, advancing troops that would send their their sex drives through the roof, so they would just have uncontrollable gay sex and couldn't fight anymore. <laughs> this is something- oh my god, I'm ready to shoot him, but look at that barrel. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, I'm gonna shoot. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I bet you can't take this barrel down the throat. You better stop playing with me, Thomas. We in this foxhole. You're in my foxhole right now. <laughs> I think we just unlocked something in Mellow. <laughs> You were? Uh, did they do this to you? Is oh my it, god! I don't know. Are you but, a monarch? I don't know, but I do have control, uncontrollable lisp. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Stop <that's> playing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Stop playing. Yeah, they had a, they had a legit <laughs> fart bomb. Like I know that's a joke, but like they had they tested a bomb <laughs> that just smelled. So the, <laughs> there, was, there was what was another Incoming. one? Incoming. Uh, yeah. Hot. yeah. Hot. But I, I think that the delivery system for non lethal <laughs> medicine is. Clearly, Kim Kim trails could be used for that. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think so. Probably. Yeah. And well, Gottlieb was was testing it. I mean, as, okay. as a possible delivery system. So people think one. This is all about the government, right? She's gotten she's got an inside track on mm-hmm. the Illuminati who mm-hmm. planned the pandemic, and she's got an inside track on all this MK Ultra stuff and Toxic Skies, which is basically like, yeah, let me give you guys a little. Pearl. Was she a producer though, or was she just an actor? Because uh, I've I've had to act in things uh, in my life, and I tell you what, I have zero control uh, about what they have you seen. Uh, she did do some directing, and I know that for her her lifetime movie that she was in production when she died most recently, um, that that she did have a, a role in crafting the script for that. Okay. So, question. Yeah. Um, what has uh, Ellen said anything about any of this? You know what? I, I Has anyone heard anything from her? No, and I, I looked, I didn't look specifically for that, but I looked a lot of things 
about and her death. Not, not, not one thing about Ellen. See, Ellen's one we got to watch out for. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, her her she Lifetime died. movie that it is still going to be released is about a young Hollywood star who's being sex trafficked and is taken to a hotel by her handler and held captive there. For someone that's been abused, why would you want to? Uh, maybe maybe she's a whistleblower, but maybe that's that's, yeah, that's the only reason why. Because otherwise you're like, why do I keep starring in these things that remind me of my shit childhood? But also oh. maybe... Someone, I'm going out on the limb yeah, here, go but ahead. maybe um, she's like, "Oh, this is the only way I can get the story out to those who yeah, yeah. pay attention." Right? Who's yeah, got I, that yeah. third eye. Yeah. Right. The whole, right. Yeah. Like, hey, y'all, I'm getting you know, y'all check this. Yeah, you know. but it's weird that like Corey Feldman is uh, has been trying to blow the whistle on right. Hollywood for years, and none. No one gives a shit, but what? Yeah, like, because he wasn't a good actor. I think it was. <laughs> yeah, I think he was a good actor. Yeah, they were yeah. like, "Yo, we got to pay attention." Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it is, maybe. It, you know, one of the criticisms I read of this whole conspiracy theory is that it's all geared towards women. Like people think, mm-hmm. and they were just naming all the women that that people think are part of this this program. Uh, and uh, you know, they said that like it's funny that they never mention men, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I don't know that that's true they never do i just think it's maybe it's less more, co- it's, it's less controlled co- it's controlled more the fact that oh this came out and it's quickly shut down i i i yeah, maybe. no i think yeah i think that's pro- that's probably part of it i just think that for whatever reason we live in a in a culture where sexual abuse of men is not taken seriously it's not oh, it doesn't resonate not. Yeah, yeah. Right. No. Yeah. It's like whatever y'all do yeah. the abusing. Why would you? you be why, abused? Right. Why? Right. Yeah. yeah. So what? What's what's uh, Terry? Uh, what's his name? Terry. Sherry O'Terry. No. Oh, uh, <laughs> Terry Cruz. Terry Cruz yeah. was. Terry Cruz. Uh, yeah. Was he a, came out. He yeah. came out and abused he, as, as someone who was abused for you know. And, and then sexually he was getting dogged. He about was getting that. dogged about it, yeah, right? It's crazy. So I just, but also like he's seven eight and four hundred pounds <laughs> of muscle, so. Yeah. I think a lot of people are looking at that as in you you could have just right. thumped the dude in right. the head. Yeah. But that kind of just proves the fact that it's psychological. It's not exactly. like it has nothing exactly. to do with your stature. Right. Yeah. So 100%. Yeah. So all of that is the backdrop to her mysterious death. Is that again, the trajectory is she was part of this kitten program. Ellen and her break up. She has this meltdown. She's like, I gotta get help. She gets help. She writes her tell all, and then she's sort of like I can't come out and say this is what's going on because right. no one will believe me, but I can just sort of leave a, a trail of breadcrumbs in all my movies and things. Okay. And then she dies. Now, here, here is what uh, supposedly happened. At some point, uh, she just kind of goes, gets in her car and starts driving at, at huge speeds. At some point, there's video of her stopped in like a parking garage and a guy telling her to get out of the car. Then there's a ring camera that shows her like oh, ripping yeah, through a neighborhood. Ass, yeah. Then she she runs into a house and literally almost drives completely through the yeah, house. No brakes, just, just she, straight she, through it. Yeah. She's taken to the hospital and she then she popped up, right? Yeah, she popped, they put we're her gonna in. talk about that. Yeah, she, crazy. We're gonna, she 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 did she tried to get off the stretcher, she goes to the hospital. About six days later, uh she dies. Uh, I can't remember if it's six nights or six days. Yeah, um, well, it's crazy because she also has a movie called like Six Days, Six Nights. And people are like, oh, this, they're not even fucking trying crazy, now. Crazy. Um, okay. Now, here's what people say is odd. According to the the coroner and people that she was drugged out of her mind. Yeah. However, the last person to spend any time with her was a hairstylist at 1030 in the morning, just before this incident mm-hmm. occurred. According to him, she was lucid. She showed no signs of intoxication. She didn't appear to be on any drugs. And they're like, is there anything weird? He's like, the only weird thing is that she insisted on buying a bright red wig. And I was like, the wig isn't cut yet. It's just the hair. I haven't trimmed it, cut it. She's like, no, I want to, I want to have it. Hmm. She was wearing the wig in the car. Now there's video of her after that. She stopped in this parking area. And this guy is like, get out of the car, get out of the car. And she, she speeds off and avoids this guy. And people are like, she is, that guy wants her out of the car. She's afraid that guy is after her. Oh yeah. Yeah. And why is the guy want her out of the car? Right. Why would, why, why, why would he want her out of the, so now 
the official story is that like she was speeding. He, he, he got her to stop and he wanted her to stop, get out of the car and stop driving, which I'm sort of like, I mean, it's a just, parking deck. How fast? Yeah, I mean, yes, I just flip speeders off and they go through my neighborhood. I don't like stop them and say, hey, buddy. You but again, the, the alternate theory is she bought a red wig. She put the wig on. Trying no one to hide trying out. to hide mm-hmm. out. Some The guy, whoever, she's like, somebody is chasing me. I've got to run. Like, I'm in trouble. So I feel like a brown wig would have been better. Like red, you're still going to be like, still sticking that's out. Sticking yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Well, then, then to, to Mello's point, yeah. there's a video of this too. Like when they put on that stretcher, she is like sitting up. She popped up. Trying yeah. to like get off the stretcher and they push her back. And it was down. like zip the bag was like zipped up over her. Which I know they often do for like burn victims to keep them from hurting yeah, themselves. Yeah, but she popped the f- she popped, she popped right the fuck up. up. Yeah. Yes. Like, she was fighting it. Looked like right before yeah. they put her in. Yeah, they, she was like, I'm trying to get away. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, six days later, she was pronounced dead from thermal injuries. The, and I, I think this is probably the part that is most confusing me. The LAPD refused to investigate any further. They they declared it death. No weird. No investigation. I mean, anything. how good is LAPD anyway? I mean, come on. <laughs> we got good, so right? much bad shit from them. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. They're like, man, you shoot that kitten. I mean, kitten shot itself, dog. Yeah. But yeah. we ain't going to even talk about Ice Cube wrote songs about how bad they were. I like, mean, if, if you're yeah. writing songs about the police force, they're yeah, not doing I a great job. I mean, the one good day, they didn't fuck with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, no one's talking about Today's today. a good day. <laughs> didn't even get pulled yeah. over by the LAPD. Right? Yeah. That's, yeah. I, I When I read all this, it reminded me of two things. One is personal. One's uh, uh, an interview with Randy Quaid, where he talked about what is called, he called Star Whackers. Oh. Isn't he doing another one that he's yeah, another he, one? He's, he's another he's one that straight off the rails. He's yeah. off the rails, yeah. but he said there are people. There's a group of people that when you when you buck the system, they send this people out after you to not necessarily kill you, but to ruin your life. It's like the, like Scientology. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. The, very, very much. What like are those? Scientology. The Squirrel Busters? Is that what they call them? Something like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have like a dumb name for the people. Squirrel. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. And, and Scientology. Scientology. Yeah. yeah, the Scientology people. Squirrel like, Busters. Yeah. I think we, it's Squirrel Busters. We all. Um, I when I when I Maybe did that's the why research. My nuts mess up. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> did it speak out? I, I guess know, Scientology. It did. It did. It's like you know what? Scientology ain't real. And they're like <laughs> Squirrel Busters. Get a nut. <laughs> yeah. They just took it. The uh, the <laughs> when we, when I was doing the research for this, I ended up in the Scientology wormhole, mm-hmm. and I was reading about I forget the name of that operation they had, uh, where they infiltrated like like everything you do. Yeah, no, they sent out like hundreds and hundreds of spies to infiltrate every. They would rent a house in front of your. House. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And then have cameras pointing at you. And I was like, I really want to do this, but I also don't want to lose my family. I'm like, these people are crazy. Yeah, they're nuts. Yeah. They have way, they get paid to do it. So it's like, you can't compete with that. The other, the other. I mean, you're so glib. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You're so glib. (laughs) The other thing that, that, uh, (laughs) that I heard once that's always haunted me. And I've told a few people this, but, but this is the first time I've ever spoken about it publicly. Is I was I was at a party in my neighborhood years ago, uh, and it was like it was one of these like uh, serve. There's a there's a woman that my wife uh, worked with at the time. They worked at a restaurant. So this is a big you know, service industry party. A lot a lot of party. A lot of drugs. A lot of beautiful people. Mm-hmm. And there was this guy there that was just stoned out of his mind, just zombied out of his mm-hmm. mind. He he showed up with two other guys and. You know, whatever. So I, I like everyone was outside because the party had moved out. It was like New Year's or some shit. Okay. I kind of went inside and used the bathroom. And those two dudes, not the guy that was zombied, came in. And they started talking in the kitchen mm-hmm. as I came out of the bathroom and I heard them. And the guy said, do you have them on this? And he's like, yeah. He's like, that's the shit. You get them hooked on that. And those that money will just keep coming. It'll just keep coming. Crazy. And I was like, and he wasn't talking like a Roth IRA. It was like no, drugs. No, it was definitely talking about that. This guy. I mean, he referred to him as that's your cash cow, man. Crazy. And like, because this dude was so zombie stone that we were all like, is that dude all right? Weird. And like the idea that like these guys were talking about how to keep this guy in this zombie like state always sat with me. And then I read this, and I'm like, if you've got a Hollywood star who you think 
is going to bring hundreds of millions of dollars to the studio. Yeah. Then you assign them a handler and you're like, he's great at it. You keep the, just the right cocktail of fame and drugs and whatever friends. It, whatever it is that that person is addicted. Right. Yeah. You yeah. give you give them you are managing that person. They they to all its extents and purposes, they are a robot that you control. Right. Mm-hmm. And and whether that's part of some mind control experiment from the CIA, that part I believe. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. That yeah. part I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if that means where you're like, we want producer X to invest money in this movie and he has the hots for this. 19 year old up and coming star. Well, you're going to go to dinner with him. Yeah. And you're going to fuck him. Worked. Yeah. And you like know, that shit, I, I genuinely believe that shit happens. Oh, it's Absolutely. proven. Yeah. It definitely yeah. happens. Yeah. Well, I also think like, you know how, you know, we just living in, we just living in this country doing whatever we do. Of course, the government, they got shit going on. Of course. Mm-hmm. But uh, the point is, um, every year uh, or every um, election in any other country, this country examines that person and can figure out that person, their weaknesses. Their oh, right, 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 yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. So just think about that. That's simple. That's just on the outside looking in. Right, yes. yeah, yeah. So when you got that, and then you add a little bit of sprinkle of, uh, you salt bay some shit in somebody's yeah. drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but once you know that person's personality, <laughs> what their likes are, dislikes, or whatever, yeah. yeah. and then you sprinkle that, you salt right. bay some shit in their drink, you yeah. got them. It's yeah. easy. Yeah, it's super easy. Yes. Uh, former presidents, not going to say any names. Right. Mm. But are very easy to um, check out psychologically because yeah. they're out there. Yeah. yeah. It's, and it's very easy. So right. once you learn these certain things, oh, this person loves to be showered with compliments. Right. Or loves to feel this yes. or that. Yeah. Yes. It's easy to get in there. And then once you're in there, that's yeah. the breakdown. Yeah. You start giving them all this other shit. Right. And it's easy. Yeah, because these people do this for a living. Like Absolutely. They, I, right. Yeah, I saw an interview with a guy that works for the CIA and he, he just uh someone interviewed him and said, Well, how do you how do you lie about what you do or how do you he's like, No, you don't lie, you just believe it. You just compartmentalize your true self. Yeah. And then you just know you've yeah, it's just part that's they're trained specifically to break people down and understand how they work or like fool people. Yeah. You can't compete with that. I didn't go to that college. Yeah. I don't. I can't afford the student loans on that shit. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. it's, it's simple. I mean, the mind is very fragile. Yeah, as especially we've when seen you blast this past it. couple of years. Yeah, especially yeah. when you blast it. Yeah. Oh yeah. But also, like, just think about the blasting with the internet over oh, the yeah. pandemic. Oh yeah. Right, no one right. had anything else to do. All yeah. we had was the internet. Yeah. So you see all these people. I noticed it just on social media, picking sides, getting angry. I fell into it. Yeah, we very all very easy. We all did. We all did. Yeah. But then. The hardest thing is once you get someone in there, the hardest thing is to change your mind on anything else unless you're willing to be like step back and look at stuff. Right. right. Yeah. But the hardest part is it's easy to make you convince something, but it's even harder to make you unconvinced. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's so, man, it's so crazy to think about. So to break someone down, like you're saying. Yeah. To nothing and then build them up. How are you going to change that? And that's what people have said. TikTok is it's like China started TikTok and they're just using the algorithm to say, "Well, I know what we can do to break Americans down because they're Absolutely. so they bought into this shit or any of that stuff." Or uh, people talk about how uh, Russia, all everybody on Reddit and Twitter is just Russian bots just trying to separate us, which yeah. I would not doubt. No, yeah. I mean it's very simple. Like because the algorithms, everything you're getting what you're used to looking at yep. instead of being the objective. Mm-hmm. So, but thank God those people. There are some people who can look at. Oh, I got this, but also mm-hmm. let me see. You know, those learners. Yeah, yeah, I would say are the ones that are expanding that you can't really. Yeah, hone. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Like. I'm not just looking at this. Yes. I'm also yeah. looking at the other side because I need both sides. But right. those people yeah. like, oh, I just want my side of things. Mm-hmm. They're very easy to manipulate or right. change minds yeah. or get angered. Huh. Yeah. Like, just think about the whole pandemic shit. Like, we should be happy we're out. Yeah. Right? Out-ish. Just out-ish. Yeah. But free. Yeah. Right. But now people are more angry than ever. Yeah. It's right. insane. There's so much more hate. Mm-hmm. There's all these other mm. things. And that's easy because once the mind's broken down, now we can 
boom, mm-hmm. take them this way, yep. take them this way. Yeah, and with the internet, and wow. now with deep fakes, and now with AI generated uh, art, which is like tens, we, yeah, what we're we fucked. talked about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Yeah, we're you, screwed. Dude. I look, I'm, I just, I'm taking a green pill. And I'm going. Back. <laughs> yeah. I just looked. Katie, Katy Perry, who's allegedly one of these kittens. Her net, her net worth is 330 million. Weak. Which that's. <laughs> <laughs> but but here's my question: If she's made 330 million dollars for herself, oh, she's how made, much has she made for whatever studio oh, quote unquote owns yeah, it? A, bil- a billion, right? Really, yeah. At least a billion. She's getting this. She's right. getting like. Right, Jenny is a bit of that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If uh, that's right, this, the thing that. By the way, if anyone wants to hire me and put me <laughs> yeah. on it, I mean, take what you need. Yeah. Give me <laughs> Do for one million. Mil. Yeah, I think that the $100. the <laughs> commodification of talented, musically, uh, you know, young women acting those things, and it, and it probably happens to young males as well, mm-hmm. but to a less extent or a less reported extent. Menudo. Man- right, <laughs> I'm hungry. Menudo, I'm mucho, yeah. and I'm hungry. Millie Vanilli, uh, Menudo, any M band from the nineties. Yeah. Oh my god! I mean, it's probably <laughs> some of these boy bands. It probably absolutely. Uh, but but I think that all of that, and I think what happened with Anne Hesh is whether that's true or whether she thought it was true. She slowly in her life's mission was like, I'm going to find a way to let people know what's going on, mm. and whether again whether it's true or not, at the end of her life. She thought they were out to kill her. Yeah, and that ex- that makes so much more sense to me than that she was hopped up on drugs, drugs which have never come out in the toxicology reports, oh. because they're basically like we're done. She died of you know she died of you know smoke inhalation. But so somebody it's like, knows something. Someone's gonna it's gonna open back up. There's no way someone's. Oh, gonna Oh, they're gonna, just gonna let do. It. They're gonna. Someone is gonna do a Netflix and document, and, 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 and they're gonna make yeah, money exactly, off yeah. her still. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Probably the people that killed her will. And they'll point fingers at themselves to throw people off the scent and say, why would they do that to themselves? Because that's what they do. I think that's that, true. I think that there's something, I think there is a, a level of trafficking. It certainly involves sex to agree, but it could just involve this young lady is worth a billion plus dollars to this, in, to, to Walt Disney or to Nickelodeon. Right. I, and that, I don't like that shit. That's what I, that's my final thought. Yeah, it's bad. Um, Okay, I'll give that's your final thought. All right, I'll give my final thought. My final thought is uh, like Melo said, we've been at home, we've been on the internet, and someone with Aunt, like Anne Hayes, she's got so many people. She probably has more people she can find on the internet that hate her than the ones that love her. So, mm-hmm. what does that do to a person's psyche? You may act quote unquote crazy. Just I've acted crazy just from one YouTube comment. I can't imagine what people <laughs> oh are like. Yeah. Uh, Volcano was right. not a good movie, and she's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. uh, so there's the level of pressure that that brings that makes you crazy. Clearly, it affected her, and you know, I don't, I don't know what drove her to that. But there's a lot of wild speculation. Here's what I don't understand: with that whole Weinstein thing, people spoke out very publicly about that, and it took him down. Why mm. do people think that someone like Anne Hayes can't speak out? And maybe the government's just a much bigger entity than one man that get, kept movies. You know, maybe it's just there's a difference. Um, you know, I think I think honestly, he was the fall guy for a way bigger. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that yeah. you know what I'm saying because, I mean, as big as he was in Hollywood, he's still minor to the people that were way above. Sure, him. sure, yeah. So we need a fall guy. This is the dude, right? right. He probably said something wrong one time. Sloppy. No. He got, he did, sloppy. He got yeah. sloppy. Yeah, I mean, and they're like, a, you know what? Shit for sure. Because one thing about power, when people get addicted to it, they get sloppy. Oh, right. And then that's when everyone else be like, yo, don't bring that shit on my shine. Mm -hmm. Take this guy out now. Right. Because the most powerful people we can think of, there's people way more powerful. We don't even know their names. No, why would we? Right. Right. And Weinstein's name had been bandied about even publicly with what, what's time, her, yeah. uh, what's, uh, uh, Courtney Love, Courtney Love, the you 90s know, and... people were just, you know, so people kind of knew that he was, yeah, I mean, so it they was were around like before it was out. Sacrifice. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I'm not saying he didn't deserve to be sacrificed. No, he was a big old piece, piece of shit. shit, but they were Absolutely. like, we got to throw some, we got to throw some, uh, some, some blood to the wolves here. Absolutely. Yeah, that makes and sense. And let yeah. them, yeah, we got a piece of meat, throw it out there and yeah. they'll chew on it and then they'll forget about everything else. Yeah, but, which is unfortunately how we work for sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. But, yeah. but you know, if part of this whole program is let's keep them traumatized, 
right? We'll take trauma- tra- traumatized uh, uh, girls, we'll keep traumatizing them, and we'll keep drugging them. So if they ever do come around, it's so f- fractured and fucked up in their head that our it lawyers just can crazy. just be like, yeah. Well, weren't you like addicted to painkillers at this right, time? Yeah. They're like, well, not by my own will. And they're like, really? Sure. So or it's like, like how like how everyone like right. advocated. Yeah. Michael everyone Jackson, uh, everyone advocated for Britney Spears to be, you know, out of this conservatorship. But then the minute she started talking when she was out, people were like, oh, maybe we made a mistake. She's, yeah, right. She's, no. doesn't sound stable. We right. should have, you know. But then they can also blame that on her parents. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So right. it's, there's always a scapegoats. Right. Yeah. yeah. No matter how no matter how big the shit gets, there's always an escape because mm-hmm. there's always someone above somebody. True. Seems like we just, well, what? I was going to say, we should just screw Hollywood. Then I'm like, I'm not going to stop. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, gonna yeah. Stop. no, I like a movie. I like a good movie. I like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like watching stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Well, we. I, this is a conversation I had with, uh, we've had before on the pod, but someone tweeted recently about this, Brent, who's been a guest on this pod. Some quote he heard uh, that, we have this perception that good, good art is only created through pain. Mm. Um, and we've mentioned this before. It's like, would we give up all the great music and great art in the world if it meant that people didn't have to suffer? And I don't think people would because yeah. they love art too much. Yeah. Right. So it's, that's going back to like, well, I love a movie. It's like, well, what caused, what brought that movie into your house? And, you, and or like what is how we buy shoes from Nike or we buy shoes for or like Coca-Cola or we buy chocolate from Nestle. It's like, ah, but I really like my chocolate. Uh, I'm not going to give up. So sorry about your life uh, that you went through that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's like um, Kanye. Mm-hmm. Right. Everyone's like Kanye fucking nuts. Mm. But then he says shit that I hear and I'm just like, is he though? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. You know, because he was talking about everyone said he turned it back on the coach. He's like, absolutely. Right. Because our culture yeah. is stuck on buying chains. Mm hmm. Buying all the stuff we want, material shit, but then right. we don't think about owning land, or, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, all right, these things. Right, right. And I'm like, how can you disagree with it's it? modern day slavery? It is, it's like, but then, yeah. yeah, he's like, you know, our mindset is trapped, yeah, which right. I agree with, you know, 100%. Yeah. But also, um, the fact that people are out there trying to be like, oh, Kanye crazy, is he right? Though? No, he's just speaking truth to power, but he also is. He is bipolar. No, he is. But, he but it's like is. so he's a genius, but he's also speaking truth to the power that, uh, which I think people don't like. Is and well, right. I think yeah. it's how he presents sure. stuff, like anything. Yeah, like it's how you present things. Mm-hmm. Like in in my comedy, I don't present things so harsh. I spoon feed. Yes, right, yeah. right. Well, you have yeah, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. So. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. You want to sip it in? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're racist. That's right. You're right. racist. Yeah. 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 Sure. And I'm deep throating the spoon. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm in the yeah. back of the throat. Yeah. But no, it's those little things, but it's so easy to make someone look crazy than to look. Especially nowadays with just sound bites. Oh there's God. times yeah. when uh, I've like, there was something Justin said the other day, and I was like, you could take that out and be like, wow, this is a crazy ass podcast. <laughs> and uh, yeah. it's just, nope, it's completely And normal. that's a scary thing with. The sentience and yeah, all this. Yeah, other. no, right. Like, uh, they can take anything I said tonight. Yeah. Recreate it. Oh, yeah. And then they were like, hey, Melo oh. said he don't like black folk. That's and I, was, I don't even remember saying black folk, <laughs> yeah. but I just said you it. You said it? So I said it twice just mm-hmm. now. So they're going to be like, yeah. hey, black folk, black folk, black folk. <laughs> it, it, it shows, like you said, the fragility of the human mind and mm-hmm. how it's constantly being bombarded. I mean, in some degree, we're all part of like, a, a, an MK Ultra project, yeah, since, absolutely, since 50, and it 60. happens so fast. Yes, with the internet, like yeah, with the books, well, you no. can at least put it down and not get brainwashed for a little bit. Once the internet started, everyone's like, "This is a great thing," but yeah. there's always someone manipulating every yeah, good thing right. that's sure, yeah, that's yeah. done in this in the world. Yeah. yeah, yeah, nuclear. Oh man, this is great. Oh, let's make a bomb out of it. Yeah, yeah. the wheel. Oh man, this is great. Run over that bitch. She stole my. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> she stole my soda. <laughs> that's right. right. Totally. You know, so with everything, um, there's always uh, a negative. There's positive. Yin, yin. Yin and yang. Yin, yang. Old, uh, the, where do I see that dick? Where do you see <laughs> my dick? 
Oh, yeah. Yin and Yang. Oh, is that Yin Yang? Yang Yang. They're Yang Yangs. And they're twins. Those <laughs> but are those, they're not pa- those, those panda Yang, bears from the, the zoo? Is that what they're that's called? Bla- that's, uh, that's pandas. When, yeah. when, 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 I don't know. This has been a real blast, man. I've had a good time. It always is. Yeah. Hang yeah. with you fellas. What about uh, our listeners? Can they find or follow you on the socials? Yeah, definitely um, hit me up on Mike Mello, M E L L O Miller on uh, IG. And Michael Miller, my gub name on Facebook. It's great. Your IG is great. I love following you. Thanks for listening. This has been Conspiracy Beer Me. Still Justin Scranton. I'm Shane Smith, and this was Mike Mello. Peace. Peace.